Hi students, my name is Niyadi Seth and thanks for watching Wikipedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is Phylomorph Report of Animal Kingdom. Turn your frustration into fun with your online tutor Niyadi Seth. So let's proceed towards our topic that is Phylomorph Report. Orthropod, they possess a chitinous exoskeleton that must be shed during the growth. Okay, this is the largest phylum of kingdom Animalia, which includes insects. By nearly any measure, the most successful animals on the planet are the orthropods. Okay, the segmented bodies are arranged into regions called tegmenta. For example, head, thorax, and abdomen. Okay, they have bilateral symmetry. The body of the orthropod is covered by chitinous exoskeleton. Okay, that must be shed during the growth, as I have told you earlier. And uh, as I have told you that uh, they, the segmented bodies are arranged into regions called tegmata. For example, head, thorax, and abdomen. Okay, they have bilateral symmetry. Uh, if we talk about the respiration, then the respiratory organs are gills, book gills, book lungs or tracheal system. Okay. Sensory organs like antennae, eyes, uh, such as there are two types of eyes that is found in this phylum, that is orthopod, compound eyes and simple eyes. Okay. Statocyst or balance organs are also present. The nervous system is ventral that is on the belly side and the circulatory system is open and it is on the dorsal side that is back side okay examples are uh, of this phylum are apis that is honeybee that is commonly known as honeybee second is bombyx which is known as silkworm third is lacifo that means lack insect and fourth is vector such as anopheles female anopheles culex and aedes okay now come to the major classes of orthropod. There are five classes of orthropods. Class Merostomata, that is uh, shoe crabs come under to this class. Class Arachnida, in which spiders, scorpions, snakes, mites, they all come under Arachnida class or phylum orthropod. Okay. Class Telopoda. Class Chylopoda, in that centipedes, come under millipedes they come under the class class diplopoda and the last class is class insecta where insects come okay now come to mirastomata class hmm? horseshoe crabs they may be descendants of trilobates trilobates is a class which is uh, which got vanished a long before okay so they are the descendants of trilobites Horseshoe crabs are nocturnal. They feed on annelids and molluscans. They swim on their back or can walk upright on the five pairs of walking legs. They live in the deep oceans or in the benthoic regions. Okay. Bears a long post anal or caudal spine. This is the distinguishing feature of class Merostomata or phylum Orthropod. Now come to the respiratory organ. They have book gills which are located behind the sixth pair of abdominal appendages that represents the respiratory structure. Okay. Now come to class Arachnida. This is the second class of the phylum Orthropoda. There are about 57,000 species are known till date. Okay, this is the very successful class of orthropod which have four pairs of walking legs. That means they have eight legs. One, two, three and four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, total eight legs they have. Most of their species, they secrete powerful digestive enzymes which are injected into the prey to melt it or to liquefy it. Okay, once they are dissolved in its own epidermis, the victim or the prey is sipped like a root beer float. A spider, mites, sticks, they are an example of class Arachnida or phylum Orthropod. Okay, now come to the third class that is class 
Kylopoda. Kylopoda means centipedes. Uh, centipedes they come under this class. The centipede is a speedy carnivorous invertebrate that is found generally around decaying matter all around the world. Centipedes are not only carnivorous animals but the bite of the centipede also contains venom okay that is poison which means that the centipede kill its prey before eating it okay now in spite of their name the common conception is that the centipede has hundred legs that's why its name is centipede cent means hundred okay and peeds means legs so this is the common conception that uh, centipede has hundred legs but do you know students that this is in fact not true the centipede has pair of legs that run the length of the body of the centipede which are normally between 15 to 30 pairs of legs in total and not 50 legs pair okay they are thought to be around 8000 species of centipede worldwide although only about 3000 have actually been properly documented and undergone intense studying in the scientific world okay the centipede can range in size from a few millimeter to 30 centimeter long the centipede has a bite that will painful to humans but not fatal unless the human is allergic to bee strings or wasp strings okay they uh, centipedes are usually found in land in moist habitats usually under rocks okay they are occasionally found in burrows also the centipede they favor damp environments and so is rarely found in the hot and dry desert areas it centipede is the most dominant predator of the insect world having claws on their first body segment is one of the centipedes noticeable traits see they have they have this so that is this is the noticeable trait that they have claws in the first segment of it hmm? the centipede is a carnivorous animal and is therefore a pure meat eater centipedes they mainly prey on the insects spiders earthworm and other small invertebrates although some larger species of centipede have been known to prey on the some mammals and reptiles okay do you know students female centipedes they lay an average of 60 eggs per clutch can you imagine 60 eggs per clutch human uh, females they lay an average uh, of uh, just one egg okay uh, and just imagine female centipedes they lay an average of 60 eggs per clutch which are coated in a sticky substance for protection the female centipede usually buries her egg in the soil and some species of the centipede are known to nurse their eggs and baby centipedes and but not all okay centipede you can say they are the most or one of the oldest animals on earth having evolved in the form of it is today or millions of years ago okay the centipede has been found in uh, fossils dating over 400 millions old now come to the another class that is class diplopoda millipedes they come under this class over 10,000 species are known till date okay the millipede is from the same family as that of centipede but the millipede generally has more legs than the centipede as I have told you that centipede have total of 50 not more than that but they have more than 50 legs average millipede has between 80 to 400 legs can you imagine up to 400 legs they have 
this is the representation of a typical millipede the millipede is a medium to a large sized invertebrate that is found under rocks and in the decaying logs all around the world the millipede has a long and narrow body which is made up of segments okay Millipede is found all over the world but is more common in the southern hemisphere okay where the millipedes have been known to get the nearly 40 cm long some species of millipede have a poisonous bite which they use to kill their prey before eating it okay millipedes they inhabit areas under rocks okay in the rotting logs okay and occasionally in the burrows which are known as micro habitats okay millipede is an omnivorous animal but primarily they feed on dead plant material and decaying matter on the forest floor millipedes are also known to eat some species of plant and the larger species of millipede also hunt insects okay now can you imagine female millipede how how much eggs they lay at a time or per clutch the answer is the female millipede can lay up to 1000 sticky eggs at once although the number of millipede eggs laid in usually closer to 500 when the baby millipedes hatch they only have three pairs of legs but they shed their skin as they grow each time the baby millipedes shed their skin they develop more body segments and legs okay so that was all about uh, class diplopoda or uh, millipede now come to the last class that is class insecta okay most insects have uh, one or two pairs of wings they are the only invertebrates that can fly most of the species have compound eyes as i've told you that they have two eyes two type of eyes simple and compound but the class insecta has compound eyes and can communicate by sound and scent using powerful chemical hormones called pheromones okay insects have extremely elaborate mouth parts they, which consist of pairs of appendages fused into a lower lip that is known as labium and the upper lip is known as labrum so the upper lip is labrum and the in lip is labium with other appendages called maxillae which aids in chewing okay this is the uh, class insect is the dominating the biological spectrum with nearly a million of known species members of insecta may represent as much as 90 percent of the multicellular life on earth though the incredible diversity of insects overwhelms any attempt at inclusive summarization okay Adult members of this class can be identified by the following characteristics as I've told you that they have three pairs of legs, a segmented body including head, thorax and abdomen and one pair of antenna. Most insects ha also have compound eyes, a trait which is exclusive to the phylum Orthropoda to which the class Insecta belongs. Okay. Additionally, insects are only known invertebrates that are capable of flight. Okay and many species are equipped with one or two pairs of things a dizziness array of adaptation from social behavior and complex communication to metamorphic cycles and camouflaging mimicry allows insect to inhabit nearly all environments and persist as one of the most integral aspects of their various ecosystem okay this is the anatomy of uh, cockroach okay the, this is the dorsal view this is the ventral view and this is the central nervous system view okay now see the external features of uh, cockroach okay uh, which belongs to class insecta they have filiform append antenna compound eyes pronotum this is the promotum this is the uh, I mean that lies just behind the compound eyes they have tagmina they have hind wing this is the abdomen this is the metathoracic legs okay 
these and this is the mesothoracic leg and this is the prothoracic leg so there are three types uh, legs prothoracic mesothoracic and metathoracic okay this is the mesothorax okay each cockroach has eyes a mouth salivary gl glands antennae brain heart colon reproductive system midgut legs esophagus gastric cecca fat bodies and malpighian tubules cockroach eyes they contain more than 1000 lenses allowing them to see multiple things at once this is the most noticeable trait of cockroaches cockroach legs are exceptionally sensitive when touched these are the legs prothoracic mesothoracic and metathoracic they are very exceptionally sensitive when touched their antennae also known as feelers these are the antennae uh, filiform antennae they are known as feelers they are responsible for their sense of smell cockroaches have two small appendages on their abdomen known as cerci which this is the cerci which acts as a sir cerci give them an advantage over predators as they seem to be very sensitive to slight air movements around them okay a cockroach's mouth can move from side to side and is capable of processing smell and taste simultaneously okay cockroaches are also equipped with salivary glands and an esophagus which assist in digestion at the base of the esophagus food is temporarily located in the crop this is the es esophagus is not uh, shown here uh, but uh, just know that um, they are equipped with salivary glands and esophagus which assist in digestion and at the base of the esophagus food is temporarily stored in the crop after entering the stomach of the cockroach food is broken down by enzymes present within the gastric cecca okay and in the middle of the intestine is the midgut which is responsible for nutrient absorption spiracles are visible on the sides of the cockroach body these are used for breathing okay inside their bodies which is not shown here cockroaches contain a white substance known as fat bodies similar to fat stores in the humans fat bodies allow cockroaches to store energy after nutrients have been broken down okay these are the representations or uh, examples of phylum arthropoda so this comes to an end thank you